Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing all of you how to use the sync bin inside of DaVinci Resolve 17. So when you have multiple cameras going at the same time, different angles of the same object, and you want to be able to synchronize the clips so that you can easily jump from one camera to the next without having to realign everything manually, then that is when you would use the sync bin. So after you've imported all of your clips from your scene into Resolve, you should put the related clips into the same bin so that they can be synchronized with each other. So if you had a few different cameras and they were all rolling for the same scene, then you would take the clips from that scene, put them all in a bin together, and then those will be the different cameras you can switch to while you're editing with the sync bin. So with these recordings I took, you can see that there's a time code kind of stamped into the title here. So you can see roughly the time over here on the right side that these videos were recorded at. So these two were taken at almost the same time. And then these two are about a second different. So that can help us figure out which clips go in the same bin. So these two are really similar. So obviously these two go together. So I'm going to right click here and do a new bin. And then I can drag these last two clips with the similar time codes into here because I know they're from the same scene. And then when I want to edit with this bin, I'm going to go over to the cut page and I can open up the bin two right here. So if when you go into your bin, you see that your video clips have a time code, which would indicate at what time down to the second of the day that you started to record your videos then you'll be able to synchronize your videos having them start at the same second or frame and then matching those up automatically another alternative is you can do it by audio the thing with audio though is that they actually have to have matching audio so if they all were recording with the same audio device then you would be able to synchronize them very easily and if neither of those are there, then you might actually have to do it manually, which could be a bit of a pain. So with whatever camera you're using, or in this case, mobile app, it's a good idea to try to make sure you can get that time code to record for all your devices so you can synchronize them up. In any case, when you want to actually synchronize your clips, however you're going to do it, you can click up here in the media pool on the cut page. And you can see here the first option, time code. You can sync by the time code. But both of these time codes start at zero with no reference to the date or time. So that actually doesn't help because they weren't recording at the same uh, second in real world time. And then audio here. But once again, if they're recording their own camera audio and you come in here and you hit sync, you're probably not going to get a match. So you won't be able to do it that way either. Of course, if the audio was from the same camera, then that would be an option. And then the third option here is really to line them up manually. So over here on the right, there is this icon for solo audio. So if you toggle this on and you'll know it's on because it has green, then you can play back each of these videos one by one and look at both the visuals and then look at both the visuals and the audio in order to manually line them up. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do that here. If there's a really obvious visual or audio cue, then that would be good for helping to match it up. So right here, you can hear a bird chirping, right? So that's pretty distinctive. So now I need to find what time that bird chirping starts and ends. Okay, and it looks like the second clip is about a one second delay compared to the first clip. So in order to move the clips, you have to unlock the sync. So you can see uh, these icons right here sh shows that they are already locked into a synchronization. So any that we have to move, you have to click on the camera over here and uncheck the lock sync. I'll just leave the second one as is because I don't want to move it. So let's move this about one second forward and see if that matches up a little better. And then let's just listen back. Okay. And the second camera. Okay, so it looks like this needs to come up a little bit further. Let's move it about that much. Play back one more time. Okay, here's another bird sound. I'm going to try from there. Okay, looks like clip one is a little too far right now. And I would say right now they're pretty close to each other. Obviously, if you want to do this properly, getting the time codes to match up probably going to be your best option. And that way you'll make sure you have it down to the frame. So let's go ahead and save this sync here. 
So now we need to choose which clip is going to be our base. So for that, you would just choose your main shot, the one that you are going to want to show on the screen more of the time, and then just drag that onto video check one. So I'm going to just pull this entire clip here. You could set in and out points if you want. And now let's go into the sync bin. So for this to work, we basically just need to scroll on the timeline and find a point in time when we want to switch to camera one. So I'm going to hit I to set an end point. Let's go forward a little bit. I'm going to hit O to set an out point. Now we left click on camera one. And to override this in and out point with camera one, we click on this icon here, source override. So that's going to pop camera one into video check two, which means it's just going to show on top of uh, video check one. So let's just go ahead and hit play here. OK, and you can see how it switches to camera one for that segment. So for the rest of your scene, you just switch between the different cameras you have in the same way. So if I find another point in time, I want to switch to a camera, just I to set an endpoint, O to set an out point, click on the camera you want to click on the camera you want to use for that point in time. You can go back and preview it for that segment again like that and kind of see what you're putting in and then do source overwrite. So once again, that pops it into video track two. Video track two is just going to show on top of video track one. And you just repeat the process for as many cameras you have and as many cuts you want to make. So let's just add a couple more. I, O, camera one, source overwrite. And then right here at the end as well, we'll just do I until the end, camera one. Uh, so we can see that we actually ran out of footage on camera one. So if all your cameras didn't record until the end, then you might run into that issue. So you can only really uh, port cameras in where there's actual footage, obviously. But that's basically the idea. You just keep doing that for all your different cameras for all the different shots you need it on. And then if you want to preview what it looks like in the end, you could just switch back to media pool. And then that's going to be showing the timeline, not all of the synced up cameras at once. So let's go ahead and hit play. And we can see how it's going to make cuts just like that. And we can see it's going to make a cut again back to the original camera and so on and so forth. Once again, I want to emphasize if you manually do the syncing, you're probably going to end up off a few frames. So if you can have the same audio on all of your cameras or if you can get the time codes to synchronize by customizing the settings on your recording camera or your recording phones, then that is going to help you out here. But that is pretty much the basics of how you can use the sync bin inside of DaVinci Resolve 17 when you have multiple cameras of the same scene and you want to be able to cut between them and then have all of the shots synchronized by time. So I hope this video has helped all of you out a little bit. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in my future video content.